What's going on? Radion here from the Squiggly team. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about building in the sandbox. Specifically, how do you terraform? How do you create environments that look good in the game maker? So let's jump right into it. We're going to be building in the sandbox, which is Minecraft plus Roblox meets crypto. So if you haven't downloaded the game maker yet, which is the tool that we're going to be working off of, go to sandbox.game on the left click on create and then on the game maker go ahead and click download and jump right in all right so this is what the game maker looks like after you download it and open it up there's my draft so all the stuff that you built there's some templates that you can work off of and then if you go to the end of the templates page there's a couple of interesting things that you can edit like these modern houses and you're free to build experiences on top of them and then there's the drafts gallery. So you can see all the stuff that people are out here publishing. Um, hello, this is good game. I'm sure it is. But in my drafts, basically, you can hit create new. That's what you do. Name your experience. I'm going to call it super lit mega land, obviously. Um, and then you have themes, okay? So empty, lake, desert, nether, meadow, Antarctica, and jungle islands. Try all of them. See how they look. I always start with empty. I always do. Um, because it's much easier to terraform and actually build something custom and have your own custom blocks later so I'm gonna do a one by one and I'm gonna show you just how big these plots of land are so this is the very first thing you see when you create a one by one now if I hit this play button on the top or the tab key then I switch into uh, character play mode so this is a single parcel of land it's pretty massive and it's really tall so I'm using the 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 mouse scroll and then I'm clicking on the mouse scroll to pan um, at first maneuvering and movement is gonna feel a little bit unnatural but don't worry I promise you're gonna get the hang of it if you hold alt and then you click left click then you drag so holding alt and then left click lets you do that I'm still holding alt, but now I'm going to right click and hold. So like that pretty much is the basic camera movement. Now you can do W A S D and space to kind of move and you hold shift to like sprint in this view. And you can also do the W A S D movement while also holding alt and panning. That's how you can get kind of some of those cinematog cinematography shots. However you say that, I don't know. You can get some cool camera movements if you want to record a video or whatever. But all you need to know for right now is hold alt, then you left click and drag. Okay, great. Now, if you played Minecraft, it's pretty similar in that the one, two, three, and four are all the different hot cue things that you can put down. So I'm scrolling into my spawn point. That's what this little thing is. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna drag one of these blocks into my hot cue there. Um, and then I can click on this arrow up to see all of the different stuff. Obviously, you know, you would put your assets down like a Buddha statue I um, mean, you could just click into it like that or you can drag it into your hot queue If you want to sort by blocks click on blocks on the left. Okay, let's not get overwhelmed We're gonna start simple with this dirt. Okay, so you left click You hit tab Boom, okay. I got a block. That's pretty cool. Pretty basic. You're saying all right. All right. I'm bored I get it. So click and hold is going to give you a like a flat area click hold shift after clicking then you can drag up and down so I'm gonna basically I'm gonna scroll out I'm gonna go to this corner I'm gonna click shift drag it all the way up now one reason why I like to do this on new maps that I build click it, this is a little tricky, but if you click, then go shift, and then you swipe up, that's how you get to the top. So that's pretty much it. And it doesn't really work sideways. Like if I click, all right, so I'm gonna, I'll am i show you an example, right, of the click shift method that we just did. So click, hold shift. I mean, I can drag up or down really easily, but it's not really side to side. So, and then I can also do control Z to just undo it, okay? Um, then I'm gonna hit this arrow on the right to kind of collapse that Okay, so now let's look at the top and the, the very bottom. Okay, so this is the bottom 
Um, this is a one by one parcel of land, a single plot. It's huge. Um, that's the first thing a lot of people don't get is that sandbox land is actually really big. Um, okay, so we did that. Now let's talk about these different paint brushes, all right? So there's the free one. So the free one lets you do that. Now, if I right click, I delete. So I can right click and hold, and then I can basically carve out pieces. So I can take this corner and I can go to that corner, for example, and I could just delete. Um, here's a trick. If you wanna delete all of this ugly clutter, here's what I do. On one corner, I'm gonna put one block. The other corner, I'm gonna put another block. Then right click and I'm deleting everything from one block to the other, boom. And it's the same thing here, right? Like say I want dirt to fill in this hole instead of right clicking for deleting, left click, done. Okay, so that's pretty helpful already. We're kind of getting some shortcuts going, let's get it. So here's another really, really helpful one. There's one way to replace this grass with the dirt. I can delete it with the right click and then the left click I can place it or I can hold control and left click automatically swap it out Now we're gonna be using this a lot so we like that already we got a little bit of texture going on so these are just the default blocks that I'm using that sandbox um, uses uh, in another tutorial we cover how to build blocks uh, I recommend making everything custom but let's work with these defaults for now okay so now you got the diamond cube and sphere these are really helpful because you can click or you can click and drag and start pretty much using these as paint brushes. So as you can see, I'm just clicking and dragging, right? That's all I'm doing. And it's already kind of giving me a little bit of texture. I like that. So the thing is with the diamond, all of the movement is it all moves together. So, you know, what you can do is just like that. I don't necessarily love the diamond tool so much. I only use it mainly, um, for adding like basic texturing, but that's kind of the first start. And then I'm gonna hit tab to test it. But the diamond tool is really easy for creating, you know, hills going up and down. Um, so that's basically the diamond tool. Now let's go back to freeway and delete all of this. Let me show you how to do it real quick. Again, I put one block there and let me show you something cool. And then I'm gonna make this really high. So again, I can click one by one or the method that we already talked about is I left click hold now shift, drag up. Now watch this. If you ever wanna delete like a clump like this super quickly, here's all you gotta do. You right click, hold, and then I'm gonna to go to that top. And then you see that there's this gigantic like cube being formed, yeah. And then I'm gonna hit right click, and then it's gonna delete all of the clutter that I did in that area. Like magic, guys, come on. This is ridiculous. So I'm gonna go on grass, and then I'm gonna start control, click, boom. Look at that, guys. That's, that's how you terraform quickly. All right, cube, cube, cube. Let's get into it. I'm gonna select the stone because we're gonna be using that. I'm gonna collect the water and then I'm gonna put it there and then we're gonna go ahead and just start building. Okay. So another thing that's important is the very first thing you should always do as a sandbox creator when you start a new piece of land is terraform. You should not start by putting a bunch of objects because the more stuff that you put down, you're going to clutter your hierarchy, which is the left of all the stuff that you have. So basically, um, it'll save you a lot of time to focus on terraforming as the very first thing you do in a build. Okay, we're on cube. Now the cube is very interesting. I like the cube a lot because they let you do this. So here's the beautiful thing, guys. It's that, you see that? With the diamond, you can only adjust the size, right? So with the cube, you can edit these three parameters, which that is a sick paintbrush. That's, that's the way you should think about it is, um, you know, you got these different arrangements that you can experiment with 
and you can even delete them in different shapes. Um, so let's talk about the sphere. This is the last shape, okay? So if I go 12, 12, 12, you know the, the shape that appears is pretty much like an automatic sphere, right? I personally love the sphere tool and I think it's actually my favorite for sculpting land and let me show you why. Um, okay, let's just so we can practice that one method of deleting a bunch of clutter quickly is I'm gonna left click, shift, up, okay? And then I'm gonna place a cube so that right click to right click everything in there is deleted okay so i'm starting from from scratch again now 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 let's do some basic terraforming let's get into it now that we have the brushes here's what i'm going to do okay i'm going to have a nice lake area on this corner so i use the sphere typically to carve at first um and i'm going to right click i'm holding and pressing right click and now, as you can see, I'm starting to carve. So what you can do is you can edit the height, for example. And now I'm slowly, as you can see, adding, adding a little bit of a, a natural landscape. So I'm gonna be doing that, you know, just going layer by layer, maybe make this a little bit higher, kind of going like that. And again, the way to think about terraforming is paintbrushes like these are literally just big old block paintbrushes so you start off with something pretty ugly like this and then I like to do my rivers kind of like this you know add some 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 depth and you know maybe some right here you know. so pretty much I'm gonna fill this crater up with water so what I do is I do that and then I change up my height Right, so my height is changed up because I'm gonna go in and make it feel more natural. Um, so, oops, I'm gonna hit Control Z. Okay, whatever. So I'm just going like this, you know, just terraforming, doing my doing my business. I hit Tab to see what it looks like, and you're gonna say, okay, Radeon, you made a crater. Like that's not terraforming, man. Like that's literally the best you can get get from me. Well. Let me actually, let me elaborate on what we're trying to accomplish here. So one thing that I like to do as well is let's say I'm going in sand. If you notice that I'm going on sand mode, so I, I am now working with a block of sand and that's what I wanna do. I wanna make this kind of beachy, right? So the way I'm gonna do that is I've already carved out these holes and then I'm gonna just left click and I'm filling it up with sand. Um, I like to have sand on the bottom of my beaches and oceans. Um, you can choose to have a dirt lake, but I honestly think that a lot of you know fun places have sand. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. You know, you know, we're just keeping it casual, keeping it super chill, replacing my dirt with some sand. Um, and don't worry, honestly, at first if you're strokes aren't perfect because that's the point of terraforming it's like you paint you delete you paint you delete and you just keep going back and forth so all right i got some sand and you're probably like dude this looks pretty heinous so then i'm going back in with the lower height right i'm going back in with the lower height and then i'm right clicking so that's always a good thing to do when you're terraforming is use a big old brush and then go in and do the details as you delete. So in fact, I can also change up my my depth. So now I can have a different sized brush, you know, one that goes maybe this way if I want more finer details like this. Then you can also left click to fill in some maybe some of the gaps that you missed. But yeah, um this is this is the terraforming lifestyle. All I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and edit off these um these areas and slowly delete add delete and i'm pretty much carving it's like i'm sculpting you know it's a very relaxing thing to actually do so let me go ahead and and give you a speed up of me finishing up this sand texturing Woo! All right, so don't worry too much about the perfectionism here because you're gonna end up adding water on top of it anyways. 
Um, and then I'll show you how to add water and make a lake. And then um, we'll talk a little bit about mountains and how rivers work um, to make them look realistic. The first thing you should always do before even terraforming, and I should have mentioned this at the start of the video, is choose your lighting and always build around your lighting, okay? What the heck does that mean? What am I talking about? Um, let me show you. So pretty much, on global parameters on the top left, you have this thing called ambiance, right? So you can select your lighting. So you have these couple of options and you say, wow, like, you know, looks pretty cool. Honestly, all of them have different shadows and shadows are extremely important. Um, so you want to build into the shadows. So choose a theme at the start and stick with it and then terraform and put buildings around it. So, you know, let's just say, you know, desert. Do we like this one? Do we like the vibes? Personally, I don't really like this one too much. Um, noon. I don't really like these vibes either. Whatever. I'm going to stick with neutral. But do y'all see how the shadows are being cast on this direction? Right? So now that we know that the shadows are cast this way, we want to build the tallest structures on one side. Okay, so let's say, for example, let me show you what I mean about shadows, right? Let's say, blah, 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 you put a tower here. Well, joke's on you because now anything that you build here in the shadow space is going to be blocked. And you want to do everything you can to avoid shadows. So listen in to the the shadows and make sure to build around your shadows okay that's just a side note about shadows it's super important because you don't want your buildings in the shadows you want everything in the sunlight all right so now i'm on water right so we've sanded up the beach we've cut a hole into it now here's what i do pretty simple stuff i go in the sphere and same process i click and drag oh yeah that's pretty nice so Maybe I'm going to alter these a little bit so my patterns don't all look the same. And don't worry about going above the surface because there's a really easy way to um, to delete. But anyways, play around with these parameters as much as you can. Like, you know, try the flat ones. Maybe use the flat brushes on the more flat terrains, right? Like that. Or like at the entrance of your, your water zone. So I'm using low height brushes there. And then I'm going to increase my height for when I go in the cracks. When you're when you're adding water, honestly, the biggest thing you need to make sure of is that you don't have any like gaps of air. So you want to make this thing airtight. So make sure that when you're when you're building, you kind of just fill in your water. And make sure there's not a lot of air. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You want to make sure that, and I'm hitting tab to jump into play mode. And now you can start to see that. Okay. Here's a little bit of water. We're doing all right. I think we're good on, on, on where we're going. All right, so to add water, you know, I like to do just series of brushes. And honestly, cube can work sometimes. Diamond can work. Um, all that matters is that all of your holes are being addressed. So that's what I'm doing here, you know what I mean? I'm just, I'm painting. Call me Bob Ross. Call me Picasso. Um, yeah, so, you know, I'm just kind of filling in, making sure that there's no air bubbles. And I'm going above the surface, and I'll show you why. But making water in any other method is sometimes hard. And, you know, I have some air bubbles in there that I need to take care of. So how do you take care of air bubbles? I mean, you could just drill, drill down, right click. And then make sure that everything is mega filled in. But, you know, this is not going to be perfect. You can obviously come in and, and fix your own air bubbles. But here's what I do, okay? I brush. Make sure not to press and hold for too long. Otherwise, Game Maker is going to crash. And make sure to hit Control S to save all the time. Because Game Maker is finicky. And if you exit without saving, it doesn't auto save. So just make sure you're always hitting that save button. You're saving yourself saving your life out here okay so i'm going here and then i'm identifying places that are below the 
the water level. Um, all right. So now this looks fine, right? So then, okay, you might say, what's next? How do I get rid of this ugly water? Um, the way I would typically do it is, you know, you start in one corner, hold right click. Actually, even better. I like this method where you can click on a block. You click, hold shift, move up, right? And then I'm going to go into this corner block, right click up to that one. And it's going to take a minute to load because Game Maker is a dinosaur. Um, but this is pretty much a clean cut, right? This will give me a flat water level, um, which is something that's pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. So if I have any stragglers, you know, press and hold on my right click, press and hold, and we're groovy. You know, we're groovy. And then, you know, you can be the perfectionist you want to be by filling in some of those air bubbles. I'm fine with that for now. Um, I'm not too pressed, honestly, about air bubbles. You guys get the idea. I don't want this video to take you know, 20 hours of your time. So next thing I do, right, is going back into the sand. Also, I mean, yeah, like that's pretty cool. I just made like a waterfront with a, a cascading beach. In a pretty short period of time, we made this look a little interesting. Okay. Then I'm going to go into my sand. I'm going to take my height low and I'm going to right click to delete my beach line. Okay. Yeah. If the height is one on the sphere, it sometimes doesn't delete. So maybe you might have to. Yeah, exactly. You see that? There we go. So that's the, that's the idea here that I'm, that I'm doing and then I'm going to delete and then I'm going to go just replace it with sand. So, you know, it abides does its own thing so whatever you know I got my beach and you know again if you want to delete just one one like just one layer down the secret sauce is all about getting a block any other block deletion all right pretty sick right pretty cool we got a beach next up is mountain let's talk about mountains okay we like mountains out here so I'm going to start with my sphere because I pretty much like that. Um, and I will, let's see where the shadows are being cast. Okay. So I'm going to say this corner is nice. So how I build mountains typically is, um, you know, going down here. To me, that's important. To me, how an experience looks from the side is actually important because you're going to see it, you know, when you walk to the edge of the earth. So that's why when you're terraforming, it's always important to um, actually pay attention to how it looks as a player. So, you know, you're going to be able to see the, the sides of maps. Okay, so that's how I started with this mountain. And honestly, let me tell you what I'm going for. So getting a little bit of vibes. Let's get this range going up like that. And let's make this kind of go up from the beach. Okay. So kind of the way I like to work on mountains is I just pretty much paint, you know, it ain't much more than that. Just kind of swirling my way up to the top. Okay. Pretty neat, pretty sweet. Um, yeah. And then I like to lower my height for like the base of mountains. So then I can go like that, you see, and now I kind of surround it, the rocks over there you know, edit your height values. Like, please use these sliders creatively. These sliders have unlocked so many opportunities. And with the mountain, honestly, don't feel bad about just kind of drawing squiggles and stuff like shapes. Never worry about how it looks in the first one because you're going to end up carving it up anyways. Um, I like, yeah, there we go. See that? And now I edited the width and the height so then I can create kind of taller mountains. Um, you know, just paint it. Like you're your own boss in the metaverse. You know what I'm saying? Like this is your plot of land. And as you can see, I'm kind of not thinking about it. I have no real plan. I'm just kind of, kind of vibing these mountains. I'm trying to make these mountains like as tall as possible just cause I like the, I like the look of large structures. Um, after we build these mountains, I'm going to show you guys how to build a river. 
a geographically correct river, and lastly, I'm gonna show you how to build a big old tree, because giant trees are always, always fun. Um, so let's just da, 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 make, add a little height. Okay, I'm gonna change the width and the depth to make these like pointy mountains. We like mountains like that. All right, word. So I'm gonna hit tab and see how it looks. Already, you know, we're adding some interest to this one by one. There's a little bit of leveling going on. You might say, okay, like it doesn't look that good. Not agree with you, because I made this in like a little bit of time, but after I place my initials, I then use my right clicks. I use my right clicks because I like my right clicks. And then I'm just deleting. So then you just texture in, right? So you basically, that's the secret sauce to terraforming, guys. It's pretty simple. You place, you use it like a brush, and then you use it like a delete feature. So, you know, you can, in the delete portion of things, you, you can just kind of add texture, you know? Like maybe I want to have this mountain have this sick, you know, like carving look. You know, a little spiral kind of vibe. Maybe like a wizard spire on top of this mountain range. But yeah, I mean, like that's pretty much the gist of it, honestly. And then you can add more flat surfaces on the bottom. But that's really it. Play around with these paint brushes and just brush in 3D. Don't overthink it. Don't like plan out a mountain block by block. Those don't look good. And then what I like to do is I like to use my snow to add some texturing, add some flavoring. Pretty easy. So then, you know, make, make the top of this mountain Little snowy, you know what I'm saying? Now, obviously, this is not going to look the best, but like that's the general gist, you know what I mean? Like adding some snow to the mountains on the top, blah blah blah. And then, you know, my favorite part about terraforming is like how how you can just kind of like splatter paint is what it really feels like to me. Um, cause you know, you, you paint stuff and then you can go in and with the erase tool kind of carve out some of those details, right? Like I'm carving out, say this, like, like that kind of adding some textures on it. Um, okay. So I'm not going to bore you. I think you guys get the general idea of how to create mountains and lakes. Um, so let's talk about rivers. Okay. Rivers. How does water work in real life? always from up to down water always travels down always 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 so typically what happens is like you know you got these water thingies on mountains you know with your water spilling down see that it's pretty lit already so i'm just using my sphere brush and then i'm painting it down going in going in and then you could see that oh wow like you know pretty cool my ice is melting up there okay so rivers how do how do rivers work what are we doing about rivers all right let me show you so for rivers i use the sphere tool and then i just pretty much that's how i work right click and i drag like that and then i take left click and i fill it up with water like that there you go yep 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 a little lake there or something you know just make sure it's all filled in and then the secret sauce is again that method that we did where you just get click hold shift up drag it up then on this side build one here and then you press right click going up to here now everything is going to be deleted and it's all going to be smoothed out oops I deleted too much. All right. Vibes. This is vibey. Very vibey river. So pretty much I might delete it. Whatever. Nature's not flat anyways. So I mean, yeah, like the other thing that you can do is is really kind of Texturize your land a little bit because grass is, I don't know, the universe is not flat. Let me just say that much. Okay, cool. 
And then I'm going to take my grass, right? And then blah, blah, blah. This isn't perfect, but you guys get the gist. I'm kind of just going around and and at my leisure painting. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's going in there. And I can obviously edit it and make this look better. When you're using grass, guys, like don't. Um, yeah, you got to fix this later in the finer details. Make sure there's only one grass at a time appearing and it's stacked like that instead of having this. Like this is ugly. We don't want that. But okay, that's pretty much it. I mean, look, you, I'm going to move my spawn point a little bit, but that's the very first thing you need when you start a game is you need a landscape. So already, you know, in this short tutorial, um, you've stuck around long enough to terraform. So we got mountains, we got a river, and we got water. That's pretty cool. Um, again, the way I like to work is draw it out, pencil and paper, um, and then kind of have a map. This is a one by one. What other things that I'm not going to include in this video that I would add is, you know, I would definitely go like that, right click, delete. I would make some mine shafts in this in this here river. I mean, play around with your depth, add some sky cities. Um, the very last thing that I'm going to, some a trick I'm gonna share with you is I made these leaf blocks um, and then I, I'm using this wood and then a log block. Here's the last trick I'm gonna leave you guys with because I personally, Oh, chef's kiss. I love this. So I'm going to go on sphere, get my height up, my width down, and my depth down. Okay. Check out how cool this is. Gigantic trees coming right up. So, you know, basically use these as like brushes, right? So I'm using this. Oops. Control Z. All right. So now, guys, like, come on. Come on. It's too easy. It's too easy to terraform. Basically, what I like to do for trees is I like to do that. And then I like to add little branches. Um, you know what I mean? Like, just very loose and structured like that. You know, that's how trees work, you know what I'm saying? Like they all just kind of go out and do their thing. But anyways, that's what I do. And then I go into the this tree and then I get a max size ball and I put like a ball. Okay, so this is one style of tree. Your style options for trees are honestly limitless because here's the thing, right? You can, you can go ahead and like use this, sure. Like you got these big old trees. But the other thing is, feel free to, after you place down some trees, carve them up a little bit, um, you know? Add some character, add some texturing to these trees, make them a little bit less round. Um, so, you know, they could all work together in some cohesive way. And then you can also, on the sides, add more, you know, so it looks less spherical and less blocky, but again, there's a lot of fun stuff that you can do with terraforming. It's actually my favorite part of, of building in the sandbox. I love terraforming. Um, yeah, and as you notice, shadows, right? So you wanna build buildings inside the sunlight and you wanna typically avoid shadows. But that's the general gist of it, guys. All right, that is it. Welcome to your new terraformed plot of land. Um, now you know how to build this. Now you can go out and create a cool metaverse, um, metaverse land, or you can go build for a client. Um, that's all we got for you today. Make sure to check out our YouTube channel for more helpful videos. Like and subscribe and go to squiggly.school for more awesome content. I appreciate you and I'll see you in another tutorial.